great to see you here. My name is Luc de Custer, founder of the Custer Academy, and I'm going to talk in this new video about the different methods that we can use for duration reduction. But before we continue, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you. Let's have a look at the reason why we want to reduce duration. Now, when we calculate the project duration, we use our estimates, estimates of activity duration and the precedence diagram that we created. In some cases, we will find that the time we need to finish the project is more than what we have. It depends on the customer, the person for whom or the organization for whom we are doing this project. Now, when we cannot complete the project on time, we cannot say that our project is a success and reducing duration of the project will help us to finish the project successfully. Now, what also happens is that in some cases, the customer may include fines or even rewards. So basically, when the project is late, they will be a fine to pay, which depends on the time that we exceeded the allowed duration. On the other hand, when we finish the project earlier, we may have a reward. And we have to take into account these elements when we are estimating the cost of the project. Now, another reason why we can, why it can be interesting to reduce the duration of the project is to reduce the level of effort costs. Level of effort costs like project management. We start with project management at the beginning of the project. We finish at the end. A level of effort activity is always on time, but the costs may change due to their application. We may have more people or less people to work on the project management side of the project. Now, when we reduce the duration, for example, the project management team does not have to stay on the project. We can, in fact, release them and we don't have to pay them anymore. So these are different reasons why a project can be reduced in duration or has to be reduced in duration. And we will look into the different methods that we can, in fact, apply. There are different methods and let's have a look at one by one, let's have a look at all the or the most important methods that we can use. Activity crashing and fast tracking are basically activities that we're or ways that we're going to study more in this chapter, in this series of presentations and videos. Activity crashing is adding more resources to critical path activities. We will look at some examples, we'll see how this works. And when we add more people to complete an activity, the duration of that activity will be reduced. And when we do that on critical path activities, the duration of the project will be reduced also. Fast tracking is a different way of looking at duration reduction. And here we are going to execute activities in parallel. Be careful, we talk about activity crashing and we talk about fast tracking. We don't talk about activity fast tracking. We're adding, we're putting different activities in parallel and planning it like that. Now, we also can look at adjusting resource allocations. We can move resources from non-critical activities to critical activities to find ways to complete those activities faster. Now, the resource allocations have to be done in a way that the people who are working on those new activities, the activities that they have been assigned to, that they have the competence to do that. It's not always necessary. We can also put their people in supporting activities, helping the people who have the knowledge to concentrate on the work and only on the work. We can also look at different dependencies that we uh, use between activities. Typically, we have what we have fixed dependencies, dependencies that uh, rely on physical laws. There are certain things we cannot do. Other dependencies may be more flexible when we are, for example, talking about 
the best ways to do a job when we look at the ways that we are of let's say that different ways that have proven to us the best way to do a certain job we also call these best practices now we don't always have to follow best practices but best practices will have an effect basically on the activity completion and success when we change that it may introduce additional delays and risks Another possibility may be that we have to increase the project budget to have more work allocated to the people. We increase the amount of money that we can use on the project to uh, invest in activities or in duration reduction uh, initiatives. We can talk about reducing the project scope. It's clear that this is something that cannot be done without talking to the project sponsor. And the last element is what we uh, call splitting the project in different phases. We're going to look at the different phases. We're trying to deliver the total work in a way that in phase one, we can already use the project. We will increase the possibilities in the second phase and the third phase. So basically, these are different ways how to deal with duration reduction. We will look into these elements, certainly activity crashing and fast tracking in more detail in the following videos with the follow some examples. And that was it for this video, but don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell button, and every time we have a new video, YouTube will inform you about it. Thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye-bye.